Good morning, everyone. So, I didn't realize the camera had turned on, but um, I'm searching for a hornworm. So, the reason I know one is here, number one, I see hornworm droppings all over the ground. So these are what you call, it's called cal caterpillar frass, it's what you call their dropping. I have a pretty decent sized hornworm here for them to make droppings this big. Um, as big as this caterpillar is, it's that hard to find them because they're masters of camouflage. Also, this right here, all the leaves have been ate off of this particular stem right here. And then I look over here and two tomatoes have been eaten. This is hornworm damage. I'm thinking it's probably a hornworm. Tomato hornworms actually, um, they're not as common as the tobacco ones. And I'll post a picture of how you can tell the difference between the two. Uh, but I know there's a hornworm somewhere around here. Either it's either it's been here and maybe something came and got it, or it's just it's camouflaging itself where I can't see it right now. Usually during the day, what they do is they will rest up against the stem part and not move because they don't want to be detected by predators. So I'm thinking it's them crawled down in here somewhere and it's just hiding out. But I'm gonna find it. But I want to show you guys evidence of what it looks like that you have a hornworm present so you can start looking for it. If you don't remove them from your plants, uh, one hornworm can actually devour an entire plant on its own depending on the size of the plant so when you find one you want to take it off of there and then you want to spray spray your plants with BT just to uh, uh, control any of the others that may be present that you don't detect but yes there's a hornworm present and um, I'm hunting for it so I see some more droppings down in here I'm thinking he's probably in here somewhere when I find it, I'll come back and uh, do a video so you can see those droppings. Let's see if I can get the camera in there. There's more droppings there. And this is in here. And they seem to be fresh. So he's probably, he or she's probably in here. And I'm gonna find it because I don't want it eating up my tomato plants. Alright, so I'll be back in a little bit if I do locate it. Bye. So guess what guys? Urban Farm Sisters back. And guess what? I found it. And it is a tobacco hornworm. So here it goes right here. Caterpillar has been located. So, there it is, right there. Right here. So I say, during the day, they rest up against the stem. And they try not to move around a lot because they'll be noticed by predators. But I did find it. I knew it. I knew I, I knew it was around here. I saw evidence. I found some more chewed up tomatoes. And some more leaves. These tomatoes that fell off right here. See, they've been chewed up by the tomato hornworm. It's right there. There it is. This is what you do when you find them. Take them off your plant. There it goes. So that's a nice size caterpillar. Look at that horn. So this is tobacco hornworm. Hey y'all, it's your girl over farm sister. So I got some cool things to show you today. Um, so you guys remember those uh, big old caterpillars that I had uh, took to the children 
at the uh, school. Well, I let them uh, turn the cocoons. So here's a cocoon here. And I had one of the cocoons actually emerge this morning and here's the big old moth that came out. So these are called Carolina Sphinx moths. These are the parents of tomato, I'm sorry, tobacco hornworms. This is what they look like. You'll probably never actually see these out in the uh, outside. So I'm trying to get it to open up its wings a little bit. Hope it doesn't fly away. Um, so you can see what the abdomen looks like. Hold on, let me switch the camera around. So this is what it looks like up close. It's pretty big moth. But it would have to be a pretty big moth because we have pretty big caterpillar. The wings. Open your wing. There you go. You can see what the abdomen looks like. The spots on here. There's one, two, three, four, five, six spots. They usually they're also called the six spotted sphinx moth. But the uh, Carolina Sphinx moth is the most common name used. As you can see, these moths get very big. This is my hand. You can see the moth. And it just emerges all pupated around the same time. But they'll look like this guy here. So that's a, this is the uh, parents of the tobacco hornworm. Uh, the hornworms that you normally see on your tomato plants are most likely tobacco hornworms and not actual tomato hornworms which is what they look like and the tobacco the tomato ones look very similar they have five spots instead of uh, six so you have one two three four five six spots there yeah but these are the caterpillars I had took to the children for the entomology club and they got to see the actual caterpillars so hopefully uh, this butter, I'm sorry, this moth will survive and they'll get to see them at the uh, at the next meeting which is on November 20th. But I just want to show you guys that if you have any questions, uh, <clears throat> comments or anything, put them in the comments, send me a direct message or you can send me an email at urbanfarmsister at gmail.com. Alright, talk with you later. Bye. Farming is essential! Greetings, my name is Nadia Ruffin. I am founder and CEO of Agricademy Incorporated. I have always had an interest in entomology, science, and agriculture, which is the reason why I created this organization. Thank you so much for taking the time to listen to my story. Here's how you can help make a difference in the lives of youth, adults, and our community. Agricademy Inc. is a 501c3 research institution dedicated to fostering respect and engagement for the field of agriculture. It is so important to inspire the future generation to pursue careers in this field. Our research focused areas are agricultural biotechnology, entomology, and automation technology. Since our inception in 2016, we have worked on numerous projects in farming, entomology, educated thousands of youth, and provided training and education with a STEM focused curriculum to thousands online in various agricultural industries not just the farming sector. COVID-19, tariff wars, borders closing, stock market plummeting, etc. has had and will have a huge impact on the U.S. economy and in particular the food supply chain. Food insecurity has risen to a new prominence as the economic impact of COVID-19 takes its toll. While the effects have rippled countrywide, there are certain populations suffering more than others. The COVID-19 outbreak has presented health and financial challenges for pre-existing economically depressed families, has disp disproportionately affected communities of color, and compounded underlying health and economic disparities. Our organization's primary objective in creating this campaign is to raise enough funds to purchase much needed farming equipment for our project. One item in particular that we are in dire need of is a new John Deere compact utility tractor equipped with tiller and other vital attachments that can accommodate several acres of land to carry out this project. Beginning in May 2020, for the next two years, we will utilize several acres of land graciously granted to us by the Grailville in Loveland, Ohio. 
For this project, our organization intends to demonstrate how research, online education, and small-scale farming can be used to create agricultural jobs and career opportunities. In addition to grow food for the ever-changing food supply chain that has been greatly impacted by the current state of events with COVID-19.